Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another one. Today, I wanted to talk about my pre-spawn spawning setup from ACC Crappie Sticks. Uh, I did a video down in Tennessee on Watts Bar Lake talking about the long rods, the 10, 11, 12, 13 foot rods that I like to use when I travel down south. And today's video is talking about the shorter rods that ACC Crappie Sticks offers uh, for the pre-spawn spawning and post-spawn season uh, for up, people like myself up north. This is going to be a typical setup that you're going to see a lot of states, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Michigan. Um, and to start it off, their new six and a half foot ACC setup. This is probably, this is built as a casting rod, but it's probably going to be my go-to fixed bobber setup for spawning crappie. When these crappie go on beds and I'm just pitching a little hair jig like this, this is a ACC crappie sticks jig, by the way. I uh, did a little hand tied hair jig there pitching that into the crappie's bed. Um, right now on these natural lakes, these crappie are about to slide up onto these huge spawning flats, make their beds, and they're gonna be pretty easy to target. And just a little uh, fixed bobber tactic, hair jig technique, casting right over top of their beds. This is gonna be my go-to setup for that. Um, I know a lot of people are used to a kind of a shorter rod, uh, especially up north. We don't, you know, normally if you see people in boats seven foot and less, you don't see many rods longer than seven foot. So six and a half foot is pretty typical of what you see up north. Um, this is built as a light action rod. I'm thinking they might move it to a ultralight at, at some point, um, but it's a very, very sensitive rod tip right there. These eyelets have the double eyelet to help assist with more targeted casting. This is built as a casting rod. It's very accurate um, and it's short. Pretty typical of what you see up north. This is going to be my go-to setup on spawning flats. Now, if you notice, that's a pretty big jerk bait I got tied on. This is the seven foot six ACC crappie sticks, hands down the most versatile rod uh, in terms of casting and multi-species action that ACC crappie sticks offers. Seven foot six, medium light. Um, it's more of a medium medium light action. Uh, this is what I use walleye fishing bass fishing, it's actually what I was going for earlier today, a little smallmouth action with the jerk bait. 2,000 size reel is usually what I pair it with, but um, as far as crappie go, post spawn, this is probably gonna be my setup. If I'm casting some smaller crankbaits, maybe some beetle spins, um, go down in line size, maybe to you know, six pound mono, uh, or a you know eight to 10 pound braid at the most, at the most 10 pound braid, that's what this is right here. Um, but typically, some smaller braid, casting crankbaits, beetle spins uh, for those post-spawn crappie. This is going to be my setup. Hands down the most versatile rod in terms of multi-species action that ACC Crappie Sticks offers. As far as the most versatile in terms of pan fishing setups, uh, that would be the 8-foot ACC. Um, you don't see a ton of 8-footers up north yet but I guarantee there's gonna be a bunch more. Um, this is what I highly recommend to people They say, if I'm only getting one ACC rod of the entire lineup, which rod am I getting? That's the eight foot. The eight foot is a great casting rod. So if you just wanna cast out jigs, maybe you wanna tie on a double jig setup, casting small crankbaits, you can definitely do it with this. This is my go-to slip bobber setup. Hands down, this is my go-to slip bobber setup. Doesn't matter if I'm pitching away from the boat or if I'm doing bomb cast, because I've got to cast 40, 50, 60 feet away um, in order not to scare fish. The eight footer is my setup. And the cool thing about the eight footer, a lot of you who are not used to longer rods, this is a great vertical jig rod. Once these fish get out into deeper water, 15, 20 feet, kind of where they're going to be during the summertime and into the fall, they're probably going to be a little bit deeper uh, up north. Being able to vertically jig, not only with a jig setup, but you can also use a, a jig and wrap, blade baits, lipless crankbaits. This is probably by far the most versatile panfish rod that ACC Crappie Sticks offers. Um, highly recommend. If, you, if you're gonna just buy one rod that of the ACC lineup that you, you only have the money for one, this is the one I would go with. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with this rod. By far my favorite in terms of panfish hybrid cast jigging rod out there. Um, so that is, that's their lineup. They do have a seven footer, I believe. Um, and then they have some five and a half foot dock shooting setups. I was actually in, on Watts Bar Lake and this is my dock shooting setup that I was using. Um, I had a plastic instead of the hair jig on it, but this is the six and a half foot 
I personally prefer longer rods for dock shooting. Um, we will probably do some dock shooting up north here within the next couple weeks as these crappie are still in the shallows. Uh, but typically by, by the first week of June to like mid-June, the crappie are starting to push off into that 8 to 12 foot range up north. And a lot of our natural lakes just do not have docks deep enough unless you're on a river system uh, to hold those crappie. But I know once you get into the reservoir systems like Watts Bar Lake on the Tennessee River, there's docks that are in 20, 30, 40 feet of water. They hold crappie year round a lot of times. I normally went with the uh, seven and a half foot. This is kind of what I started dock shooting with. Um, something that you see on the river systems up here, but not a ton. It's definitely more of a, once you go south to Missouri, southern Illinois, into Tennessee and Kentucky, you see a lot more, but six and a half foot is now my go-to dock shooter. Up north, this is gonna be my setup from from now until pretty much mid-June. Actually, most of the year up north, is this, these are the rods that I use. Um, yeah, this is, this is the up north version of uh, what I'm gonna use for pre-spawn, spawning, and post-spawn season. Um, if you're interested, if you're from a different state or down south and you wanna see a long rod version video, I'll link that right somewhere in the corner here. Uh, and you can check out that video explaining the 10, 11, and 12 foot rods that ACC offers for more of a vertical jigging approach. Um, but if you love casting, this lineup right here, these rods, this, this is for you. If you're from up north, Wisconsin, Minnesota, these are the rods that you're probably used to seeing uh, as far as pan fishing goes. These are great rods. So that's the entire lineup I'm gonna be using up north. If you got any comments or questions, you can post them in the comment section below. And as always, you can message me on their Facebook or Instagram about the rods, about sonar setups. Yeah, let me know. Facebook, Instagram, send me a message if you've got any questions. Appreciate you watching. As always, check out acccrappysticks.com. You can get your rods there.